Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're down at the Orleans. I'm going to do something a little different. A friend of mine is back in town. He's also a poker vlogger. I'm sure many of you have seen his channel, Mr. Wagus. too far back i did pronounce his name wrong mr wegas here in town so i like mr wegas yeah wegas uh, is cool he uh him and i text all the time because he travels uh, he let me have it a little bit so. and, and then he was playing so the problem here is i'm not mr vegas jeff you don't go to las vegas you go to las vegas so this is mr vegas but with w and i went with mr wegas instead of mr wegas just one of those things uh, how i pronounced but uh uh, we're down here at the Orleans. We're hoping to get a little session in. And but first, you know what? Mr. Wiggis travels around quite a bit. Uh, he's got an RV. He goes from poker room to poker room. Uh, we keep in touch via text. And I was just kind of curious, you know, uh, how is the 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 uh, life of a true rounder uh, going from town to town? Uh, we're here at the Orleans, and yeah, let's go see if he's here. We're parked right outside the the RV at the moment. going on i have this uh, security guy uh chasing me and uh what's what's with the mask well, well i put the mask so he doesn't recognize me and uh is because it, he's he came yesterday you know and oh is he trying to let you don't want you to park here yeah oh is that, is that that mask is working for you well, sure he's not gonna know it's me hmm that's okay um Hell sure. Man. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Just wanted to. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you're back in town. Good to see you. And, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, wanted. Yeah, to, yeah. I told my viewers I'm gonna do a little interview with you before we go play today. Oh and yeah. I want to yeah, get the yeah. uh, you know some information about the life of a you know true grinder going town to town and uh, uh, you know taking people's money. Life. Yeah. The rounder's life. Yeah. The true rounder's life. Yeah, so. So okay. is now a good time? Oh yeah. Are you, sure. You, you I sure? Just, uh, I just. Uh, okay. Yeah. There. Oh. All right. Fantastic. That'll uh, that'll warm us up. A little cold. Serbian plum brandy. Nice. That's our instead of whiskey. Oh, that's what well, we. Okay, okay. And that's that. our national. That's uh, really okay. Also, whole Eastern Europe. Like you can find it in Bulgaria a lot, Romania. All right. Or, uh, uh oh, uh oh, you're making. Yeah, that's right. good. That's well, good. That's good. All right. So All right. nice so, seeing you again. Yeah, you too. Good to see you, buddy. Zhiveli. That's in Serbian. Zhiveli. All right. I'll go with cheers. That's yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's a way to get a vlog started right there. Yeah, so. That's the, <laughs> oh. so that's the... That's good stuff? Yeah. Right on. Well, thanks for sharing that way. That's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. First for myself, <laughs> then for the guests. <laughs> yeah. Then for the guests. That's guest. how you got to do it. Yeah. No, of course. Yeah, make sure there's always enough for you yeah. yeah. first. So. <laughs> so. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm joyful. You, are you, are you joyful, up? Like, uh, are you up big already? Well, all right. Well, hey, that's that's a start. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, you can't win the blinds. You can't win a thousand without winning a one. Yeah. <laughs> you just got back into town last night, right? Yeah, last night. I stay. You, you were gone two. a while, right? 
We've been texting well, on your trip. Yeah, I spent the last three weeks in uh, Fresno. It was a good game over there. Okay. Let you see that game. All right, that was at the 500 Club? Yeah, 500 right, right. Club. You are now the tourist. You're going side to side, but you have a poker background, so you know what you're doing. So, yeah. But do they assume you're coming in like, ah, another, another tourist is here, and uh, you know he doesn't know what he's doing, or, or you well, know, does that work to yeah. your advantage? Yeah, lately, lately I notice wherever I go, people give me respect based on a gray hair. Ah, uh, okay. I have in a couple of videos actually using the term gray hair pot. <laughs> when I have absolutely <laughs> nothing. Deuce 3 offsuit, flop is King Jack 10, guy bets, whatever, I go all in and he falls. Fall. Based, based on respect. gray hair. Okay, well yeah, you gotta use that to your advantage then. Yeah. What the most important thing is actually that the position. Right, right. So Correct. if you're on a button, I'm experimenting with that. The poker for me is uh, like uh, the risk is important. Right. So what's the amount of risk in one two game where the maximum buying is two hundred? Yeah. What the Small risk? risk. Because two hundred, who right. cares? So now let's say you have aces, pocket aces, okay. and on a button you raise pre-flop whatever fifteen, forty-five whatever you want. Somebody calls, and on a flop you go all in. What are you doing there? You're just guessing, did he hit anything on a flop or not? Right, right. And if you know anything about uh, a poker probability, they have to miss the flop. So you can bet on that. So then now my question is, why do you need aces for play like that? Right. How about you have packing deuces or mm -hmm. deuce three? You make it 20 pre-flop and the more you bet, they raise the value of your hand. Right. They think it's Correct. better. If you exactly. make it 15, oh, he has ace king. If you make it 25, oh, that's pocket jacks. If you make it 45, oh, it's kings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can have those three offsuit, I'm telling you. Whoever calls, comes around, flop, whatever the flop is, without ace king, without some face cards. Sure, sure. You just go all in or bet 150. They, okay. they have to fold Yeah. because they have to miss. It's if they hit it, yeah. Well, okay, that's exactly. that time. But right. most of the time you're going to make, but, and that's why I think why the position is the most important. Yeah. So poker is not about cards, it's about mm -hmm. risk and about that psychological place. And the most important is the the position. Correct. Now, if that type of play doesn't work four or five times in the night, you lost $500. You and that's happening that. to me lately. <laughs> So you're, you're you're experiencing the variance side of things right yep, now. Yep, okay. Yep. okay. I'm downhill. Going okay. down. Hitting the bottom. I'm yeah. right down there. All right. So, for five years that I lived in Las Vegas, I'm basically car dead. Five years. Wow. Anytime I go to Holy California, cow. I go often to Palm Springs. Right. Aqua Caliente Casino. Mm -hmm. yeah. I go to Oceanside. I win usually 800, 1500. Oh, so you're doing well there. Depends. Okay. Anytime, anytime. I come back next day, Venetian, whatever you want, Caesars. Sure. Not that bad. Nothing. <coughs> I am called dead in Las Vegas. <laughs> that's, I mean, so I came that's last horrible. night, <laughs> went to South Point. I'm doing good, up like 150. Then I get Pocky Trees. There was a raise, like a pre flop, I called. Flop is uh, five three jack. Okay. Okay. Flop the sack. Yeah. So the then the, the the first guy checks the second guy that actually raised pre flop. Okay. He goes all in, but he has like sixty eight. Uh. So now I don't want to chase this third guy out. So I just smooth call sixty eight. He thinks for a while and then he calls. With what? On Jack 5 3. Jack 5 3. And you call 12 pre flop, you was know? It, was it rainbow or was it two? two We're pieces? rainbow, no, 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 okay. no, 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 right. no, yeah, no, no, okay. uh, flush draw, so just maybe straight draw. Yeah, I'll say like ace four type yeah, of something, chasing the yeah. gutter. Okay, okay. Yeah. But 68. Yeah. You call with ace four 68? Yeah, no, I, I don't, but you know. Well, that's you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he called. Now that party is like. Uh, like two hundred fifty dollars already. Turn card seven of clubs, absolutely nothing. Right, right. I bet eighty. <laughs> he checks. I bet eighty. He takes like four seconds. He calls. 
river six of clubs so there's no flush okay. it was i think flop was three red cards there's no flush and he goes all in he has like 55 dollars left and i see what's going on and i am willingly but pot is like uh yeah, close to huge. 400 yeah correct 400 in a pot so i call i showed oh no first this guy on my right that was all in oh correct yeah. he jumps dude <coughs> you have a four and he shows ace jack so on a flop he had ace uh top 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 top, 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 top yeah right, so right. he went all in <laughs> i call show my hand even the, this guy is uh first to show right but i just show it to end it you know i have a set he shows ace four so now, ace four, twelve dollars free flop, sixty-eight dollars on a flop, eighty dollars, eighty dollars, and then he hits the rim. So it's <laughs> rebuy or go home. <coughs> right, right. So I left. So That's I'm telling you, I'm car dead, gotcha. bad beat uh, experience in uh, gotcha. in Nevada. That's that's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. No wonder you travel so much because you do better out there. Okay, so we're in a 1-3 game over at the Orleans. And in his hand, we're in the small blind. Mr. Wagus has made his way over to our table and is now sitting to our left in the big blind. In this hand, uh, folds all the way to the button, who raises to $6. I fold, Mr. Wagus raises to $28. The button thinks for a little bit and makes the call. The flop brings Jack-8 Ace Rainbow. Mr. Wagus checks, the button bets out $27. Wiggis calls. And the turn is a four of spades. And again, Mr. Wiggis checks, and the button bets out $45. Mr. Wiggis makes the call. And the river is a king of hearts. Wiggis checks one more time, and the button this time checks behind. Mr. Wiggis shows pocket queens. Button stares at his cards, hoping he can provide some magic to switch them up. He is unable to, makes the fold, and Mr. Wegas takes it down with pocket queens. Good read, having just moved to the table. Not sure if he's played against this player before or not. Having the overcard on the flop, he wasn't too concerned. The next hand, under the gun, raises up to $8. We're in the middle position, and we look down at 9 10 of spades. We go ahead and make the call. Mr. Wagus and the hijack calls, the cutoff calls, the button calls, both blinds fold. And we're off to a flop of Ace 10 8 Rainbow. It checks all the way around. The turn is a 9. It checks to me, and I bet about one third of the pot, $15. In retrospect, probably could have went a little larger here, but with three people still to act behind me, I just want to see where we're at and we just make it $15. Unfortunately, Mr. Wagus raises to $45. It folds all the way back to me, and at this point I'm thinking back to an earlier conversation that him and I had about how he is able to make moves at times. People give me respect based on the gray hair. Ah, uh, okay. And he folds. Oh, well, Based on the respect. gray hair. Okay. Well, yeah, you got to use that to your advantage then. Yep. Oh. Well, with two pair in my hand and that knowledge in my head, we go ahead and make the call. The river's a three. We check, and he shows ace eight for a flopped two pair better than our nine ten two pair. Nice hand, Mr. Wiggis. Nice hand. Hopefully this slight change in the narrative will be a good turnaround for Mr. Wiggis being card dead in Las Vegas. So okay, so you're saying you're going to be out in the in the in the boondocks here. Um, yep. you, know, you worry about getting you know people coming out, uh, knowing hey you're a poker player, you probably have money, whatever, trying to rob you, uh, come off any. I mean you're you're vulnerable. You're out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, how do you deal with stuff like that? Well, that's the always a question. Do you have a gun? Yeah. Well, Check then yourself. I say I don't have a gun. Why okay. do I need a guy? I walk with Jesus beside me. I have Jesus on my right, Holy Ghost on my left, and we're gonna stamp the. We're going to step over the devil and kick him in the darkness. Somebody shout, Holy Ghost! Shout, Holy Ghost! Yeah. Um. So, 
I see. Well, no, I mean, that's good. I mean, it sounds like you're, you're a religious guy then. I mean, you have God to protect you, and so you're not, you don't need you know, weapons or anything is what I'm getting. I'm not religious. Who tells you that? No, no, not so. Not, not religious. I mean, you know, misinterpretation. I mean, so. No, this not, just sounds good when I say it. It, it did sound good. I mean, you had me convinced. I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to mug you. I mean, I, I was a little bit scared. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Scared? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, mean, I won't put Jesus beside me. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. I mean, everyone has has you know their their uh, their thing they believe in, and they they that helps them get through the day. So uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a drink to that. That's the life cycle of Mr. Wiggins. Rounder. Rounder. This, he, the last of the rounders. You definitely put a different spin on it than I think the viewers were expecting. Um, I'll drink to that. All right. <laughs> So yeah, let's get inside and let's play some cards. See you at the table.